Brothers and sisters, let's let you know this brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? All right. Um, quick message here. What is above is also below. We're going to get right into the message. Uh, what is above is also below. All right. Um, we've talked about our planet before, how we, um, our planet is pure plasma. Our planet is 99.99999% plasma. Okay, you can take the nines as long as you want to go. It's all going to come to the number nine, which number nine represents carbon. All right. And plasma is a direct byproduct of carbon. All right. Carbon is all throughout our universe. Carbon is all throughout our galaxy. Carbon is all throughout the planets, the planetary bodies. Our um, sun and moon are carbon based, um, which... Because they're carbon based, the carbon, um, the plasma is a byproduct of carbon and the plasma becomes in an abundance because the carbon is in abundance also. All right. So carbon is very much alive. Carbon is pure energy, which uh, makes our planet nothing but pure energy. We talked about um, perpetual motion. All right. Perpetual motion means that it, there's a spin that's happening with an, uh, an organism a celestial organism or a sphere and there's a spin that's happening okay and because of this spin it be, because what makes it perpetual motion is the fact I'm moving too fast so I'm gonna slow down <laughs> what makes it perpetual motion is that it's not plugged into anything it's literally um, living on its own energy and the energy is on the outside of it so yes there is a space all right, there is a space. So those those who talk about there's no space, get the fuck out of here with this garbage, whatever you're talking about. You get your religious fanatics out of here. That stupid shit that you're talking ain't worth shit, all right? Because you have no evidence to back anything that you're saying but a fucking book called a Bible, which is nothing but a book of, a, a, a bunch of lies mixed with a little bit of truth, mixed with a little bit of folklore, mixed with a little bit of um, uh, other little stories that were made up all right so um let's get out of here with that stuff all right and th those who talk about the flat planet is impossible to have a flat planet and energy on a flat planet all right nothing in the cosmos is without shape everything has shape everything within space the cosmos has got a dimensional shape all right and when we talk about dimensional shape remember we're talking about um each shape can can hold a dimension. Like yes, this, this is a circle, and inside of this circle right here is a dimension. You might not be able to see it, but inside of the circle is a dimension, which means energy um, goes through it all the time. So when you have something like a, a sphere, a sphere has got multiple, 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 multiple dimensions on it. All right, that's what a sphere has got. It's got multiple dimensions on it, and it's all and it's always pulling in energy which is called entropy it's pulling in energy and it's creating energy pulling in energy it's creating energy all right so it pulls in frequencies it creates its own frequencies so when they talk about the, the Schumann resonance this is nothing but the frequencies of our planet our planet creating its own frequencies creating her own frequencies better yet our planet creating her own frequencies and at the same time she's raising her frequency she's pulling frequencies from the outside entropy all right so um, um when you talk about um mr bbb33 um wages world um all these other outlets they're not studying the, the science of everything that's behind what's what's going on Okay, so when you talk about um, um, perpetual motion, you get that spin going on. All right, you get that spin. Then you have entropy, which why is spinning is pulling in frequencies from the outside and creating its own frequencies on the inside. Okay, and this is what creates your thermodynamics. Your thermodynamics is nothing. It has to do with fire. It has to do with lightning. It has to do with energy. All right, and th this is what creates the thermodynamics. This is why the waters keep moving. All right, you say the waters are always moving. Why are the waters always moving? Because our planet is always spinning. All right, then you got constant velocity. So our planet is moving um, this way, counterclockwise. 
all right? It's moving counterclockwise. And while it's moving counterclockwise, it's got that spin going on. Uh, for some reason, I can't get that done. <laughs> counterclockwise and the spin. <laughs> Ooh, is that the whole thing about, you know, the motion of your hands, you know, is it's like it took me a minute to be able to do this right here. <laughs> <laughs> so so we got that spin going on we got counterclockwise all right so um you got a, the constant velocity all right this is your constant velocity all right that's your perpetual motion all right and it's pulling that's that that frequencies pulling the frequencies pulling the energy as it's moving as well as it's creating its own energy on the inside of the sphere that we are in all right, it's not a dome, it's a sphere. All right, so that's why when when it's dark here, um, like say for instance, we're here in this this part of the land, and it's dark. All right, and we look at the we look at the globe, and we see it says, well, why are we standing upright because of what you call? I mean, they want to call it. Um, Gravity, we can call it gravity if we want to call it gravity, because it's the iron that's in our body that helps us to stay on the ground. Or we have lots of iron in our body, and our planet's spin is creating a magnet. It's a magnet that, that creates a magnetic field for us to stand, all right? But there are certain things that we as the original people or the original beings of this world can do under certain circumstances that other beings, which are other other people, can't do. All right, and we're going to get into this here. Okay, so we've got so you got the the sphere. All right, and you got land here, and you got land there, and you got land there, and land there, and land there. And we have an atmospheric sun. All right, that you know circles around you know, gives light and day, light and day. The light is the, the sun energy during the daytime, during the daylight is here to to give life to everything. All right. It gives life to everything, feeds it energy, like your gardens and even us. And then it goes nighttime. And what happens at night is there's growth. Because everything grows in the darkness. And while there's night here, there's daylight on the other side of the world. All right. Which means our sun is is, is, is on the other side of the world. Now our sun has moved to the other side of the world. And there's light there. And then it's feeding energy there. And then it's nighttime. Then it's, and now it goes nighttime. Everything that, that was fed the energy has got to grow. And this, is, and this is what we call... Um, uh, energy uh, or growth of energy all right when you go into a stage of meditation um sometimes your meditation gets so deep after you finish you just want to go to sleep because why your body wants to process all the, inf the energy and the information the intelligence so the sun is pushing down intelligence on everything all right and the trees grow the leaves on a tree gets and get gets intelligence everything gets a, a level of intelligence nighttime comes it, there's a time of that's what that's that short time of, of of everything being dormant all right so that everything can grow in the darkness so all that sunlight the intelligence and then you wake up the next morning and be like wow this seed grew high i just planted this seed yesterday and i put it directly up on the sun put some water on it and i wake up and this boy is like this high right here it goes the sun is and that's, that's what the sun does okay so therefore what is above is also below all the intelligence okay so now we got a little bit of that in 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 intact okay we got a little bit of that intact. So we want to get into the energy of everything, how energy works. All right. We've been adorned to all these energy companies. All right. And they're using nuclear power plants, which are super ancient. All right. We've done the nuclear power plants a long time ago. Realized they didn't work. All right. Um, which are super ancient nuclear power plants. And through the nuclear power plants, they send energy 
All right. And this is this is literally dirty energy that's being sent. This light that I'm using, everything that we use in our house is dirty energy. It's not clean energy. All right. It's not the energy that we need to be using. OK, so what happens is, is everything is for, is, is for money for them. So you give them money and then they give you the energy, but at the same time, they don't want you to create your own energy because they know that our planet is nothing but pure energy. Okay, so um, you got perpetual motion. All right, that's been and the entropy, the frequencies coming in, causing to causing the spin to increase. The spin never decreases. Our planet never slows down. Anytime you hear a scientist say, "Well, the planet seems like it's slowing down," no, it never slows down. All right. The faster the planet um, um, uh, uh, spins, all right, the faster the poles, which is a magnetic pole, electric pole, the faster the poles move. All right. And then when the poles shift into a different position, your electric is up here, your uh, magnetic is here. What happened? It ev they evolve into a totally different type of energy. All right. So everything goes from electric to magnetic to photon to, um, oh, what's the other one called? Magnetic, electric, photon and plasmatic. OK, so it's photon and plasmatic. Um, then you then it, then it evolves. I can't I'm, I'm drawing I'm drawing a blank right now. Then it evolves into another type of energy and this is what energy does energy evolves okay energy evolves into a higher type higher uh, type of organism all the time I mean this that's what energy does so do we need electric companies no we, do we have we ever needed them no all right remember we said no one gave these beings permission to rule on the planet they caused the original uh, 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 beings of our world caused us to fall from a, a an advanced level of energy and power, all right, so that they can create their own timeline on our planet, which is not a sacred timeline. It's like something that's out of balance. All right, so they created this right here. Um, you remember they, they talked about Tesla, if that was his real name. But they said it was Nikola Tesla, which I don't think the brother's name was Tesla. Um, I think they get that name from some somebody else that they create because I don't think the brother's name was Tesla. But there was a brother who was going up, a, who was creating energy for everybody to use freely. All right. Because he had tapped into some ancient shit. And then you have Thomas Edison, who was a congressman at the time. And only thing he wanted to see was money and this is why you have all these Edison places right here you know they set up their alliance on our planet with with themselves say oh you get energy here you get energy here we will send you energy we flip this button on flip this button off you know turn your lights on turn it off you know at any given time all right so they know about the science of our planet perpetual motion constant velocity thermodynamics entropy all right they know that the plasma on our planet goes beyond quantum it goes into tachyum it goes into pentium okay it goes into some crazy energy all right and what they don't want you to know is that you can create your own energy all right, so let's say for instance, this is copper. This is iron. This is steel, which steel is a mixture of um, zinc, um, iron, and silver. All right, steel is an alloy. Magnets, see that? Magnet sticks to here. Magnets stick to there, but the magnets don't stick to here. Hmm. We'll get into that sometime later. Um, so you can take this copper and you can go 15 to 20 feet in the ground. All right. You take this copper, go 15 to 20 feet in the ground, preferably 
solid core copper. And 15 to 20 feet in the ground, you'll be tapping into some energy. All right? And you'll be drawing energy from the ground, which you can flare the top of it or um, connect you your uh, copper wire to this to the copper and get pure energy from it. Same way with iron. Same way with steel. All right, you're going inside the ground. Why? Because inside of the ground is plasma energy. All right, we talked about um, we we talked about uh, how the earthquakes are colossal plasma energy discharges. All right, so as you have as you have this entropy going on, and and our planet is spinning, that's why there's no such thing as winter time. There's no winter. All right, they say oh, winter. That's that's the point where everything goes dormant. No, everything goes dormant at night. Because the daylight brings the energy at night, everything goes dormant, so they have a chance to grow. The sun comes back out again, have a different type of intelligence, and then it's night again. Everything grows. That's how it works. So you don't have a winter, which creates. They say Do we need a point of dormant where everything is dormant. No, that's why you have night. Okay, so you know um, the the the. Perpetual motion, the entropy, constant velocity, thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is the what? Earthquakes. So you have these colossal um, plasma energy discharges on the ground. So as you got perpetual motion that's going on and the entropy, and it's creating frequencies. And what do these create the frequencies create? These cre frequencies create vibrations. And what do these vibrations create? The vibrations create energy all right so you got this spin that's going on and energy is being formed up and it's plasma because you have these crystals you have different forms of plasma on the ground you have plasma crystals you have iron which is um your clay you have sand there's mud which is nothing but wet dirt you know sand and dirt are different they're two different um, 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 resources on the planet, sand and dirt are completely different from each other. All right, so you got all you got all this underground. Plus you got water. Plus you got stones. All right, you have all this packed together. All right, so as the planet is spinning, all right, as it is spinning, you have this energy forming on the inside of it, and this energy just doesn't stay there it has to discharge because at some point in time that energy has to uh have a release all right and then you have all right because you have these long lines of energy and this is what they call earthquakes because they're so huge that they literally shake the ground and now you have um the, the news uh, sources saying that uh, the earthquakes are getting uh, closer to the surface, which means if they're getting close to the surface, there are no what? Tectonic plates, exactly. All right. So you have this copper that you can put 15 to 20 feet in the ground. All right. And you can pull pure energy from the copper, from the ground going into the copper. All right. And you take your copper wire and you hook onto it. And you can create electricity for your home or for whatever you, you are creating, whatever form of energy that you need to create. All right. Same thing with the iron. Same thing with the steel. OK. Also, you can do the same thing with the wood, but you got to be careful with the wood that you don't break it. You want to make sure it stay, remains solid because wood itself is nothing but pure plasma energy. OK. Now. The same way that you can put it 15 to 20 feet in the ground, all right, you can raise it 15 to 20 feet in the air. All right, therefore, what is above is also below. All right, sometimes you may look up in the air and you'll just see like flashes in the air, just flashes. You say, what's that? What's that flashing? Plasma. 
you know, at one point in time they say the sun was flashing. Why is the sun flashing? Plasma. All right. This is plasma energy discharges. That's all it is. All right. So when they say uh, they, uh, there was a solar flare that came to the planet, that was plasma energy. Because our sun, our, our atmospheric sun, sends solar flares. All right. And they're right here. It sends solar flares, which is nothing but solar flares and nothing but pure plasma energy coming down to the planet. Our universal sun sending what you call coronal mass ejections, which is nothing but pure plasma energy coming to all of the different planets. It's feeding all the planets plasma energy. And this is a constant thing. And our our uh, universal sun runs on what? Perpetual motion. All right? Constant velocity. Actually, no, 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 no. It's just perpetual motion. It's the other planets that run constant velocity. Our universal sun is like this giant. So, you know, 1.3 million of our wild planets, number 13, can fit inside of the universal sun. So the universal sun doesn't need to do this right here. It's the planets that do this. They're following, all right? And as they're following the sun, because it's cre it's cre it creates um, like a funnel, or a funnel of energy. So you got this right here, and you got the spin going on. All right, and then you have the universal sun sending these coronal mass ejections, which is not but plasma energy from the from the corona or the, or the core of the sun, and it's sending it to all the planets, and it's constantly feeding the planets. This is life. This is science in 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 the, in the raw. So, because of all the plasma energy that's in the air. Take this boy and you create a pole, all right? And take it 16, 20, 30 feet in the air. You wanna uh, have something preferably like a crystal at the top of it. Why crystals? Because crystal is, is pure plasma energy and it harnesses that energy and you wrap your copper wire all the way around it and take it all the way to the ground, all right? And then you can connect this, all right? You can connect it. You wanna, you need to have a, a source for to go into your house, you know, because your house has to take um, a, a negative and a positive, okay? So it, it you so you have your have you have your your copper wire coming down, and and uh, it's prefer it's preferred that it that that is that's raw, but if you want to leave the the housing on the copper wire as you bring it down, leave the housing on there, you know. You feel safer, all right? And then you'll be able to um, hook this into something and pull in pure energy. You have the crystal on the very on the on the very top of it. Same way with the iron, same way with the steel, all right. As above, also below. Remember the the towers that was that uh, that um I I was did the video on and I said you know just imagine these towers eight feet high. Actually, they should have been. 15 16 feet high and this is something that we created and what the what it did was uh, these tower structures all will also send energies into our bodies to help our bodies because this energy came down all right because you have this, this these towers up in the air and you have this um, crystal sitting on top wrapped in copper wire okay yeah, the crystals, the crystals sitting on top, wrapped in copper wire. I don't have any free copper wire right now, and um, and what you have is it um, harnessing the plasma energy and sending it straight down through the wiring. All right, same way with the iron, same with the copper. All right, and so the towers that we had were metallic towers. They were giant metal towers that we had. Um, that have since been destroyed in the last 500 years. They've been destroyed, and, and some of them were made of wood. Some of them were made of crystals. We had crystal towers that provided energy for our for our homes, for our neighborhoods. All right. So you know we were not without energy. So we knew how to go deep in the ground, and we knew how to go way up in the sky. All right. I remember when I was younger watching Sesame Street. And they had Big Bird on Sesame Street talking about how you can um, uh, 
plug a TV into a tree and turn it on. And they showed us that on Sesame Street. And that was back in the 70s. All right. So they showed us that on Sesame Street. They have since destroyed all that uh, material. All right. Because, you know, it's, it's all about money for them. They want to make money. Remember, money is their only source of energy. Without money, they have nothing. When they start to lose their money, what do they do? They kill themselves because that's their only source of energy. They know nothing else but money. All right. No one told them that they can take rule over our planet. We allow these beings to do this because we stop fighting. We fell for the religion. We fell for the garbage. All right. Now we got to bring ourselves back to real power. Therefore, what is above is also below. The plasma energy that's in the ground is the same plasma energy that's in the air. All right. And they're equal in levels of energy. The air, the plasma in the air is not more powerful than the plasma in the ground. The plasma in the ground is not more powerful than the plasma in the air. It's just that you can't see the discharges in the air. All right, because sometimes, because sometimes when the discharge happens in the air, it just it just happens so quickly. All right, you can't see it, you can't hear it. Sometimes, sometimes that that it does um, get rather different because you can hear that boom, 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 boom. That means that that was a huge discharge. That means you know if it was in the air, that was a huge discharge. A lot of times that happens around water, um, like on on the coastlines or whatever, because water is uh, pure plasma also. But when you go on the ground, all that packed up, all that the the, the packed uh, resources. That plasma energy is going to discharge. All right. So, um, what uh, they the sign they have been saying that the earthquakes are getting more shallower, which means the shallower means means it's coming closer to the surface, and which means that there is no there are no tectonic plates, which means that the plasma energy is going to be revealing itself. All right. That last earthquake that happened in L.A. was very shallow. It was close to the surface. And the plasma energy, the discharge from the plasma energy was so powerful that it knocked out one of their power plants. They have a power plant that runs, that um, keeps everybody, everybody's homes energized through natural gas. And the plasma energy was so close, was, was so close to the surface that it literally shot. Earthquake upgraded the, to 4.4 um, from 3.8. Location, offshore bio bio, Chile, class, light, 22 see, minutes ago. You see, offshore, that's another plasma energy discharge that's happening in the water. It's happening in the water. It's happening on the ground. It's happening in the sky. All right? So, therefore, what is above is also below. So, what happened, that that energy from, from, the, um, from the plasma literally shocked the computer system. All right? In this, uh, in, 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 in this, uh, this area where they where they um, provided e electricity for everyone, it shocked the computer system and not the computer system out, which means that everybody else was without lights. But if everyone had their own type of service, boom, you wouldn't need that. Now what they have done, what they have done though, is they have created this whole thing through this scenario that they created on our planet. They say that you know if you create your own energy, then we can put you in jail because that isn't a crime. You got to ring the the etymology of crime. Location: Kepulauan Babar, Indonesia. Class: Light. Magnitude: 4.5. 12 minutes ago. You see, constant velocity, um, perpetual motion. There you go again. But a crime is a is an atrocity. So you're saying that because we use our own energy, we have created an atrocity? No, it doesn't happen like that. It's all about control. It's all about fear. It's all about making, uh, trying to make us um, to be subservient to them, to go into a... a, a, a uh, a panic mode that go, I gotta find some money so that I can pay this bill. I gotta get a job so I can give them money so I can have lights. I gotta get this right so for money for this and money for that. This is their source of energy. And this is why we're destroying their money at this present moment now. But you get getting lessons on how to energize your homes. All right? How to energize your homes. You want solid core copper. All right? You want the iron, the, the iron and the um and the steel. They're heavy enough, 
but you want solid core copper. You don't want the hollow core copper. This is hollow core. This is hollow core copper. All right, which is designed for water to go through, and that water um, that goes through there actually it actually stays clean because of the copper because of the copper pipe. All right, so I, I just pass that on to you, brothers and sisters. Hope you understand, understand, un understand the science. What is above is also below. All right. And uh, we'll catch you a little later because um, we're going to get into building pyramids and how to build the pyramids. Okay. All right. And you know the deal. All power to the multi-chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Much power to you all.